Hey yo guys, what's up and welcome back to Two Toe Tags Metal Reviews and today we're getting our first impressions of the brand new album from Vader titled Solitude in Madness. So Vader's released an album today, Solitude in Madness. I don't know how many albums these guys have, they've been around for quite a while. We reacted to their single that they dropped, their music video called Into Oblivion. We also reviewed their EP from last year or the year before? It was last year. Yeah, Thy Messenger, that was called. Um, this is a very consistent band. They got a pretty consistent sound, pretty heavy. Um, I've, I've dabbled in them, never dove right into them. Yes. This is gonna be our first time really diving into an album, you know, you know, full steam kind of thing and really soaking it in. So I'm hoping it does what we want all these albums to do and that's impress us and get our heads banging. So I don't know, unless you got anything to say. Before about we get it going yeah we're gonna go listen to this album for the first time in its entirety and we'll be back to give you guys our first impressions so stay put okay we're back we just listened to solitude and madness in its entirety and i gotta say i was right when i said at the beginning of this video this band's very consistent um vader does what vader does uh yeah. you know these songs are very typical for this band they're, they're right in line with everything i've ever heard from this band that's not necessarily a bad thing, although there are some negativities that go along with stuff like that. But this album slays, man. I thought that it it, it, it had some nice punch to it. The drums are really, really good. There's some pretty cool um, drum elements, like a lot of usage of the floor toms, very deep sounding drums, very well mixed drums, very good use of the double bass, all kinds of stuff like that. Guitars, same thing. You got dueling solos, you got some really heavy riffs, a lot of variation in picking. Uh, great chord progression. Vocally, yeah. Vocally, I think this band has a weak spot. There wasn't much happening. It was just kind of a very consistent vocal style. It's just kind of one thing going. There's not much variance to it. Yeah, and that's not necessarily a bad thing, but it is more of an acquired taste, which is what you said. I'm taking TV Fish's words here. Um, it's more of an acquired taste. Um, our our Trivium uh, uh, album review is going to be uploaded tomorrow, but we talk about vocal cadences in that album and how they're so great. This one I would consider kind of the opposite. There's not much um, fruitfulness there when it comes to uh, great vocal cadence, but it's still good. It's not like it's a bad vo vocal performance. It's just very singy songy, very standard, very kind of almost robotic in a sense. Everything's phrased very similarly. And if you're into that kind of thing, then it's fine. Like, yeah. you're gonna enjoy the album if you don't mind the vocal style being very consistent, everything kind of being in rhythmic blocks to each other. Yeah, and it's not like these guys are the only band that does it. Like, it's yeah, kind yeah. of, a, it's kind of a, a thing in music anyway. Like, that's how music's <laughs> written, but, but you can tell when music's written with just more level of creativity when it's, you know, anyways. Um, some standout tracks. I'm gonna name some standout tracks for me anyway. Track number four, Incineration of the Gods. That was good. Um, that had a really cool drum fill at the beginning with a really cool effect on it. it that, that caught me by surprise. <laughs> now track number seven, Emptiness, was another song that it stood out to me. But the track that stood out the most to me is track number six, titled And Satan Wept, which also had a really mean, cool drum intro. These just really yeah. deep, pounding drum sounds. Booming is what I wrote. Um, yeah, booming definitely a good word. Um, this song I felt just had the most interesting stuff going for it. Had some cool transitions. Had some. They played with time signatures in this song. Mm -hmm. um, gonna have to count them, and we'll get back to you guys next week on what they do because it was a little bit jumbled up for me. Anyway, lots of syncopation. It was pretty cool. I enjoyed the whole album, but those three songs were like the standouts for me. Yeah, that song is probably one of my favorites from the album. It throws a lot of different stuff at you. And I found that really interesting with some of the songs on this album because some of them like change up the riff a lot, which is interesting given how short the songs are. This album might be the shortest album we've ever taken a look at on the channel. Like 26 like, minutes. It was like 29. 29, yeah. It was under 30 minutes long, which is yeah. really, really short. A lot yeah. of these albums are averaging like two minutes per. Yeah. And that was a little bit of my issue with some of the songs, like track number three, which was my lowest rated track titled Despair. I just kind of wrote it, and it was a little too short. It was like a minute 20 or something. It's was it? Like, I didn't even realize it was, it was that short. It was so short. It was like here and gone. Yeah. It's just, you know, and it's like, you know, how do you really kind of compose an entire song <laughs> that short? It feels like by the end of the song, you think something else is coming when, no, that's just it. But, and Satan Wept, 
is a sick song. I really liked that one. Great start. The cool riffs, lots of stuff happening. Um, there's a cool change up after the first solo. There's a second solo, which sounds good. Um, other songs that I really liked, Into Oblivion was still as good as it was when we checked it out at first. Um, I really like how talented the drummer's feet are with the syncopation that was happening. That was really tight. I liked the vocal rhythm in this song, and I liked how evil the riffs sounded, and that's a big relevant theme on this album, just evil sounding riffs. Yeah. Some of them feel a lot more diabolical than others, but overall it's still pretty nice. The album is consistent, but it does throw up a lot of mix-ups in there too, which is really interesting. And I think that's going to keep us listening, because what's tough about an album like this, an album as short as this, is when you're yeah. listening to it on loop, you're going to go through the whole album really quickly. So, you know, the test of time is even harder because if the songs aren't great, then they're gonna wear on you a lot faster. Yeah, it's definitely a lot harder for albums this short, and even this style to impress us. Um, I mean, for our first impressions, it's our first time hearing us, so it's like, yeah, we're like, balls to the wall, this is pretty good. But yeah, listening to this over and over and over again over the course of the week is gonna be a test for this album. I'm hoping and we say this every time, that we start finding personality in all these songs. There already is personality in the songs, but is it enough? We're gonna have to find out. There, there definitely... are some things. I'll give, you, I'll give you an example of something. In track number nine, Dancing in the Slaughterhouse, we talked about the vocals being kind of, you know, patternistic, if that's even a word, throughout the album. That actually has this background vocal in it, this yeah. like kind of anguished, kind of just in despair background vocal throughout the song that gives that song its own personality. So those are the kind of things we'll be looking for throughout the week to see if this album holds up and stands the test of time. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you know, already, like our first impressions, I would say, are, like the album's good, straight yeah. up. We enjoyed it. Yeah, I would say I would say the same thing, but it did nothing really blew me away. But you know yeah. what? We're gonna listen to it all week long, and we'll be back in a week to give you guys our full and final review of Solitude and Madness. So that's it for this video, guys. Like it if you liked it. Subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. Links to our Spotify playlist are in the description below. Comment below and let us know what you guys think of this album. If you guys are fans of Vader or not, if this album does it for you or doesn't, comment below. I'm Vile Self. I'm TV Fish. And we'll see you guys on the next video. Keep those heads banging.